Hi, I'm Trevor Moran, and this is my greatest party story ever. It's not a party. It's 2015, Adele just dropped her brand new album, 25. Zayn was leaving One Direction, and I was freshly leaving the closet. It was a super fantastic year for everyone. To celebrate, one of my best friends and I, Ricky Dillon, made a song called Steal the Show. We spent months brainstorming ideas on the music video, and finally decided, F it, let's shoot for the stars. Let's film our music video in Paris. So we're in the limo. Yeah, I said it. <laughs> a little lit because we've been sipping on some sparkling water. We're totally feeling ourselves. We breezed through security and hopped on the chicest double-decker two-story plane. Everything in Paris is ready for our arrival. The producers, the writers, the PAs, the like everything is there already waiting for us. We are beyond ready to get started. I mean, we are celebrating on this plane. We're sitting in business class, living our Parisian fantasy. After all that sparkling water, I passed the we wake up in a haze and we immediately realize that the vibe is just off. The flight attendants are acting sus as hell. They are pacing back and forth. <laughs> the passengers are starting to get like kind of pissed and unruly. People are now screaming at flight attendants who refuse to tell us anything about the situation. The pilot speaks on the intercom and goes, Arr! Well, everybody, we're gonna be having to make an emergency landing in Salt Lake City, Utah, and everyone just hurry. <laughs> that is not my destination, sweetie! I'm trying to say bonjour, bitch! So, the pilot's like, all right, we going to Salt Lake City. <laughs> we are greeted by 40, 50 cop cars, SWAT team, fire trucks, like with their hoses out, ready to spray this plane. I'm ready for the slides to like inflate off the plane and I'm gonna like tumble off the plane like Simone Biles in the Olympics, like backflips and shit. So we're off the plane and we get escorted into some top secret room with all 250 passengers. My new best friends. We're all in this room waiting to get interrogated by the FBI. When the FBI talked to me, they asked for my passport, like any ID, social security number, what I'm doing, why I'm going to Paris, what are my intentions in Paris. I'm like, don't mind me, I'm just trying to be a pop star in Paris. <laughs> the FBI decided they wanted to feed us. So they got us pizza. Really? I wanted some French baguette. If you're gonna emergency land my plane, like I'm expecting more in the steakhouse post it. But mm, 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 no. We still don't really know why the plane emergency landed. We check our phones and go on social media and had to learn through the news that our plane had a bomb threat. We got a bomb threat. They're what? I find out there's a bomb threat on Twitter. I'm fully freaking out, so as I'm on Twitter, I'm gonna tweet about it. So I start panic tweeting like, oh my God! One of my tweets even ended up on Fox News and I got so many texts from people from my hometown. They're like, you're on Fox News. I'm like, okay. They sweep the plane up and down, apparently, allegedly. They find out there's no bomb on it actually, which is a relief, that'd be up. So now we have two options. Getting back on the plane and continuing to Paris or stay the night in Salt Lake City, Utah, then fly back to LA the next day. Ricky was actually down to get back on the Paris flight, but I was like, absolutely the f not, period. Two weeks later, we created an amazing, amazing music video that was not in Paris, but it was just as good. Moral of the story, if there's a bomb threat on my plane, you better believe I'm not getting back on that shit.